We need more humanity and we need a revolution that comes from humanity and comes from love and comes from inclusivity and not fear and hate. Can you confirm that an Australian citizen has been illegally detained in Baden? Stateless is inspired by the true story of Kanyuria Rao, who was this German-Australian woman who was wrongfully kept in immigration detention center in the late 1990s. How much did you know about her story before you began this project? I didn't really know anything, to be honest. I was a kid when that happened in Australia. And so I really only learned about it, you know, in, in starting this project. It is really interesting to highlight that when that happened, suddenly there was a media storm about this issue and it took a white Australian woman for people to kind of start paying attention more to what was going on in this system of uh, d displacement, detention, what that meant for the people in there, what the process was, how horrible the circumstances were in there. And interestingly, I don't know that a lot of people outside of Australia or even inside of Australia really know that much about it and the system which is what is really great about this show is, you know, it tells you what is going on. It shows from different angles what it's like, how this affects people, the, the, the moral dilemma that people go through when, when working there, as well as the people who are going through the system. Hey, excuse me, I don't belong here. No, you don't. Can you tell me a bit about how you got into the mind of Sophie Werner and what that journey was like for you? She just seemed like such a bright, open spirit to me who was being crushed by her family and what they wanted to do with her and they wanted to hospitalize her and um, because of her mental health and she just didn't want any of that. And I think she went to seek um, sort of freedom elsewhere, which is why she got so tied into into that cult and and the relationship that she had with those two people who I think were kind of her parent replacement figures for a while. And, and then that ended up crushing her. And so just kind of approaching her like this, like this free spirit, this free bird who just constantly is getting crushed by, by everything that she looks towards. In the vast majority of cases, those people who are missing choose to remain missing because they're running from something. This series takes place in Australia, but themes such as immigration reform and xenophobia are really universal. I'm wondering why is telling these stories, the different stories that intertwine in this series, so important for this current moment? I think so often we as people are can be removed from the humanity of an issue like this because we see it in headlines and we see it in numbers and reports and statistics. Whereas with a show like this, you really get a glimpse of what it would actually be like for these families. And it makes it human. And it, I think that's what we all need now. We, we need more humanity and we need a revolution that comes from humanity and comes from love and comes from inclusivity and not fear and hate and I think this show although it, it doesn't take a like a, a political stance it shows from different angles I think it's really important to show that because um, we've we've kind of lost our way people are dying families are being destroyed <laughs> that was the one chance that they had to be a family you took that from them and it does feel like there's there's movement and people are moving forward but I think it's still quite daunting out there just when you when you look at the news when you look at what's going on when you look at the divisive culture when you look at all of it um, I think it's a really important time for something like this people will be very interested in you they will want to know why someone who looks just like them trapped in a place like this as we await season four of The Handmaid's Tale, I'm wondering if you could tell me what is the most challenging part about playing a character as morally complex as Serena Joy Waterford? <laughs> well, I, I mean, I think you've nailed it right there. The fact that she is morally complex and challenged is, is probably the biggest challenge because I have to sit here and justify why she does what she does to make this sort of the most grounded, 
performance that I can make it. I always say I live in this kind of very strange territory of kind of going, okay, well, I can understand why she does this and this and this, and it comes from here. And at the same time, it's horrible. I would never think that way as me as a person. So it's very strange to be sitting in, in that space kind of going, well, Serena would, and this is why, and this is how she feels about it. So I kind of have to do that then wash myself of that <laughs> and um, and be myself again, which kind of feels a little bit Jekyll and Hyde, to be honest. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I was like, I couldn't imagine seeing anything more like intense than Handmaid's Tale and it was like, whoop, never mind. Same thing. I went into it thinking, I, I remember I read it and I thought this is, you know, after The Handmaid's Tale, nothing is going to be, you know, more intense than that. And then, and then I went to set and I was like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. And every day ended up being like, oh, wow, explosion. Um, but that's great. I love that kind of a, you know, deep dive challenge. Hey y'all, thanks for watching I Have a Question. Interviewing these authors, entertainers, and all around change makers is always the best part of my day. So I hope you enjoyed it too. If you really liked this video, make sure you show that love by hitting that like button and also subscribe to our channel.